In this video, I'm going to go over how to maximize the value you get from maps, adding a ton of additional monsters to each one in order to get more drops and more experience per hour. Stick around to the end and I'll also give a couple of bonus tips about how to speed up the rate at which you profit from these monster maps as well. Hello Exiles, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming, and welcome to another Path of Exile video. If you're new around here, don't forget to sub and hit the bell to be notified every time I put out a new PoE video. Now let's get to the good stuff. In order to get the most out of your maps, there are three broader categories of resources that you can use to really pump up that density. Currencies, Masters, and Fragments. Each of these are great alone, but in combination with each other, they create the most plump and tasty maps you've ever sunken your teeth into. And what's a tasty dish without some spice? Currencies are the spice of the atlas, adding the flavor and kicking them up a notch. You start with the base, adding sextants to each of four watchstones in a region of the atlas. That's right, this is best used on high tier red maps. The only reason you should be pumping up your lower tier maps is if you're absolutely stuck in atlas progression and you really need the extra quantity for higher tier map drops. This usually isn't a problem once you get a pretty good completion rate on your atlas. The higher tier the sextants, the better, as they'll add even more packs and more interesting modifiers. Then comes chisels. You find a few maps from the region you just used your sextants on, normal maps in particular, as you don't really want to be using chisels on magic or rare maps for efficiency's sake. You put four chisels on and push those up to 20% quality, a nice bit of item quantity to add to your map. Once you've done that, it's time to pull out those alchemy orbs. Elks are so common these days that there's little excuse not to use them on pretty much every map all the way up through the atlas. This is like the salt of the maps, you should be putting it on literally everything. The more mods on the item, generally speaking, the more item quantity and pack size. And since we're dropping all those extra packs in with some of our sextants, the pack size will work quite nicely in combination. Speaking of extra spice, we have the Valor the spicy red pepper of our mapping experience. Sometimes you'll drop one of these on a map and suddenly maybe it's a bit too much. The fact that it can corrupt into an 8 property map is great until you get something your build just can't do and there's nothing you can really do with the map except maybe sell it or run it on another character. Alternatively, it can corrupt into an unidentified map, which will keep its previous mods, but it'll grant it more free quantity, 20%. Now that we've covered the spices, we can move on to the assistant chefs, our good friends the masters, which can help elevate our maps in a variety of different ways, usually for a price. Any of your masters for the most part can improve your map with their daily master missions, and you should definitely be doing those, but I'm going to go focus a little bit more on a couple of them that can provide specialized help in cooking up those tasty maps. First is Zana. She can add a league mechanic onto one of your maps for an amount of chaos. Many of these can be very profitable and some can combine well with certain sextants. For example, you could get the sextant mod that adds a strong box to the map and makes all strong boxes corrupted and at least rare. You could then use the ambush Zana mod and have additional corrupted strong boxes on your map. And these kinds of synergies continue with our next master. That would be Navali, the Prophecy Master. She's also great for adding some extra fun to your maps, but in a less guaranteed way. Prophecies are not guaranteed to proc, but there are some prophecies that just add more stuff directly to your maps. For the previous Strongbox example, we have prophecies that add six Strongboxes to a map. Prophecies, of course, aren't always going to proc, so unfortunately you just have to hope that they'll go on the maps that you want them to. But that being said, there are tons of prophecies that will grant you bonus things, so you can just have a bunch on you at once and hope that some good ones proc. You can also get Tempest Prophecies, which can increase quantity and rarity of item drops, so even those are helpful. Other than all that, all of the masters aside from Nico will add a ton of extra value in the form of additional packs and thus additional loot and experience to the map. Nico's still valuable of course, but he doesn't really directly add to the map in any way. But those delves are always fun, so make sure you add Nico to some high quantity maps as well. Finally, we have fragments. They're like the sauce that you add to give the dish some more flavor. 
These include anything you can put in the map device along with the map to amplify the map in some way. First we have the Adziri map fragments. Each of these will add 5% quantity to the map, meaning more item drops. You can also use Uber Adziri fragments, but I wouldn't recommend that as these can actually sell pretty well, although there are some sextants that actually synergize with this. These are very common, the Adziri fragments particularly with the addition to corrupted zones in maps, and should be used on all higher tier maps, mostly tier 16, like with anything if possible, to get your best value. Scarabs, on the other hand, are perhaps even more important. Being more common now than ever before, you should definitely be using scarabs on your maps, combined with everything else. They'll add specific bonuses to the map that's listed on the Scarab, and they can also have synergies with all of the sextants and other bonuses you may have. If you happen to have a ton of additional packs and a nice quantity and rarity map to run, then forcing Elder or Shaper on a map with specific map drops such as Bone Helmet, Steel Ring, or Crystal Belt on it can be very profitable indeed. Having the chance to get these great bases is always very nice. Adding Parandus or Legion to the map with Scarabs will add even more packs with tons of profit potential as well. There are so many options now with Scarabs that there's no reason not to be putting this delicious delicious sauce onto every high tier well rolled map that you can. Now that we're done with all of the uh, food analogies, it's time for some bonus tips. These tips will help you profit more from all the juicy maps that you'll be running from now on. The first tip, upgrade your loot filter. There'll be so many items dropping from these juiced up maps that not having a very strict loot filter will cause your profit levels to actually decrease. Using up all your portals to go back and vendor and deposit everything will slow you down so much that even though you're making a bunch of small currency, your profit per hour will drop substantially, as well as your experience per hour. Only pick up the small rares such as rings, amulets, and jewels and leave the rest unless it's an extremely valuable base like a shaped steel ring or an elder bone helmet. You don't bother with the lower tier maps either, you just pick up the red ones unless you still have a ton of uncompleted white or yellow maps, in which case it may be better to just buy them anyway so I would just leave them regardless. Second tip, roll three maps at once and use a dump tab. If you have sextants, they'll be good for three uses, so pick out three maps from that region, maybe even three of the same map, and roll them to get three nice ones. Then keep all of them in your inventory so you can run them back to back. In between maps, throw everything into a single tab to be sorted later. Less trips to the vendor means more time to spend mapping, and you can really increase your loot and experience gain this way. It's also good to position a master and your stash very close to the map device so that you don't have to move much in between maps for selling and depositing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more ways to maximize your maps that I may have missed during this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to help support future content, please consider hitting the join button below to become a channel member or checking out my Patreon linked in the description. You can also check out my other videos on the screen now. This has been Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming, and I will see you next time. Bye!